Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang. I'm a math expert from St. Petersburg, Florida, and we are here to talk about how to teach exponents. And the materials that you need for this exercise are a pen, piece of paper, and a calculator should the occasion uh, come up. Now, in, by the time students get to exponents, they would already have reached some sort of algebra uh, skill set. So, but exponents uh, can be a little tough to introduce, so we're going to talk about a few steps on how to reach uh, teaching exponents to students. Now, one th a good introduction for teaching exponents is to kind of start with positive exponents here. Now, a lot of students get intimidated by x's or other variables in general, so a good starting point when teaching exponents would be just be starting with x. Now, since they can tell you that x there's just one of them, you can say that x can be thought of as x to the first because there's only one of them. Now, one thing to involve in terms of teach, teaching exponents is that there's a lot of multiplication involved. In other words, if you have, for example, x times x, there's two of them here, and you can teach them that, okay, well, since there's two of them, there's one of each, therefore it will be x squared. And then you can extend the pattern by staying x times x times x because there's one of each when you're multiplying. To simplify, there would be three of those or x to the third. Now after x cubed, you can continue the pattern, but once students see how the pattern evolves, they could apply the laws of exponents in short order. What you have to help them understand is that it applies to only the same bases. In other words, you can have x's multiplied and the exponents would increase but not different bases. So for example, once they get to this stage, they can apply things like x times x times y times y times y, and they'll be able to understand that different bases will have different exponents possibly. So for example, if you have x times x, they'll get to x squared, and y times y times y, you'll have y to the third. So when you have these terms, you'll have, in the end, x squared, y cubed. And after you have this foundation, you can teach them the other properties, such as negative exponents, zero exponents, as well as what it means to add, subtract, and multiply exponents. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and there are a few tips on how to teach exponents.